Hey there. Today, I want to be talking about something that I call how I get better every year. Now, when I think about getting better, that could be in any aspect. It could be trading. It could be life. It could be in any part of your life. And what I want to talk about can be totally customized to you. So you can choose what you want to get better in, but it does take a little bit of work. Now, whenever I talk about this with people or I share this with anybody, they get a lot of benefit out of it. The people who have tried it have really told me that they loved it. They love doing it. And it's very different from anything else I've ever seen. I've never seen anybody do it quite like this before. And now I believe that we don't stand still. You're either getting better or you're getting worse. You're getting faster or you're getting slower. You can't just be, oh, I'm the same as I was last year. It doesn't work that way. You're either getting smarter or you're getting left behind because everything, the whole world, everything moves way too fast. There's many, too many changes. There's too many people competing. There's too much of noise. There's so much out there that you have to get better. And if you don't, you get left behind. Now, in many things, that's not a bad thing. But when you're in life and you want to get you want to get ahead, then you want to keep getting better. And it's actually fun to do as well, right? I get better by learning, by education, by reading. And so I'm going to be talking about how I read. And it's not the way most people read. And it's definitely not the most regular books that you've heard of. It's, it's a completely different way. I've never heard of anybody talk about it like this. And so I think it's going to be very helpful. And like I said, it's totally customizable to you based on whatever you want to accomplish. So that's the, the cool part about it. Now, I read a lot. Vivoris reader. Whenever I read, I'm always reading to get through the book because I want to finish it because, you know, I have my desk. I have a stack of other books that I'm ready and excited to read because I just love to read. There are certain topics that I like to read a lot. And so every new book that comes out, I'll get it and I'll read it. And I like the paper book you know, the printed books. I don't like the ebooks that much, but I'll read those too. <laughs> I have a bunch of those too that are still stacked up. But in my house, for example, my wife keeps getting upset because I keep getting more and more and more books and we don't have place anymore. We don't have space to put these, all these books. I got bookshelves on top of bookshelves on top of bookshelves and they're, they're still full. My nightstand on my table is like full of books. My poor wife, she even got me a bookshelf for the bedroom so that I could have that as well. But those are all full too and they're falling off and they're on the the floor and it's just piling up. So that's just the way I am. But what I realized is that I was reading and reading, and reading, but I wasn't learning. That's the sad part. I was just reading to read. And so I had a lot of knowledge, but I didn't have any implementation. And so I learned this because, you know, my wife and I, we sometimes were, we're in bed, you're at night, you're talking. She has a business. She has her own business. I have a business. So we we're talking and she was explaining a particular problem that she had. And so I was like, oh, wow, that's, you know, that's tough. But, you know, I'm reading this book and it said, blah, 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 blah. And she goes, oh, wow, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, I'm going to try that. So then she goes and she comes back like a week later and she goes, hey, you know, I tried that thing and it worked really well. Thank you. You know, problem solved. It's wonderful. I'm like, oh, hey, that's great. Hmm. You know, and then we move on. About six months later, we're in bed and now I'm talking about a problem. And she goes to me, oh, well, you know what you could do? You could do blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's such a great idea. Oh, my God, that's amazing that you're so smart. And she goes, really? You don't remember? And I'm like, remember what? She goes, that's the exact same thing you told me to do six months ago. And I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah. It's like, you read it in a book. You told me to do it. I did it and it worked. And now I'm telling you to do it. And I was like, oh. And so I realized that I'm reading all this stuff. I'm reading all these books upon books upon books and I'm not learning. <laughs> it's coming in one year, it's coming out the other. Not only that, but I'm spending a lot of time reading and normally I will read four or five books at a time. At a time, I'll have four or five books that I'm reading because you know whatever fancies my mood at the time is what I'll read, so I'll pick it up and I'll be in the middle of four or five books at a time. And I mean, if I just do one book, I can do it maybe within a couple of days. But when I learn about a particular topic, I like to go deep in the topic, but when you buy three or four books about the topic, you'll realize that they're almost all the same. There's very little new stuff in the books that come out nowadays. You know, there's maybe one or two that are like the definitive book about it that cover everything. And then everybody else, all the books that come out afterwards are just reiterations of that book. Like, for example, one time I wanted to learn about habits. So I bought, I have maybe six or seven books on habits. And guess, they all say the same things. They all use the same studies. They all talk about the same problems that people have, the same examples. A lot of it is almost like if you take the, the title off, you wouldn't be able to tell which book is which because they're almost they're all the same. And so I realized that I'm buying book after book after book on certain 
certain topics and I'm just reading the same thing over and over and over again. So I was like, yeah, this is not working either. This is just wasting time. I mean, repetition does help, but still, I'm not getting anything closer to my goal. And so I decided to do something different. And I decided that I'm going to make a list of all the things that I want to work on on me. Now, I have two sets of lists. I have one for business because I want to improve my business. And then I have another set for me personally, all the things that I want to improve on. And so what I did was made a list da, 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 and I picked like maybe eight or 12 things. And then I went and I found the definitive book on that particular topic. Now, some topics I picked three or four books because they come at it from a different angle and it's a very big topic like productivity. Productivity is a big one for me. Discipline, getting stuff done, working on the stuff that's important, not getting sidetracked. That's important to me. And so I have three or four different books that I identified that are really good about that particular topic. And so what I've done is I call it the 12 books a year. So I have set aside and I have decided that I'm going to read one book every about my personal to get make me better make me as a better person be more successful in all the different areas of my life so i'm going to read one book per month now Obviously, like I said before, it only takes me two or three days to read one book. So I'm not going to read all of them together. I'm going to read one. It might take me two days, three days, four days to read this book. The rest of the month, I am going to implement what I learned in the book. I'm going to go back. I'm going to take notes. I'm going to apply it to different situations in my life. I'm going to make examples or exercises or take the exercises and actually do them. Because a lot of books, they have exercises where the author tells you, oh, do this, 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 this. And I don't do those <laughs> really you know i might think about it for like 30 seconds and then move on because i'm rushing to finish the book so i'm going to go back and i go through the entire book and i go through all the exercises and i actually do the work i actually do what they ask you to do and i go further and i spend time thinking about it i spend time thinking about okay what did this chapter say how can i implement this in my life how does this make any sense does it make sense for me and i found that there are certain books that are just really really good and so i do them every year so in january i have one book and then February is another, March is another, and I'll work through the book. Now, if that particular topic or that particular issue is really, really important to me and I'm not finished implementing the book, then I can just keep working on the book. I don't go to book number two. You know, I don't go to the next month's book. I keep working because I don't want to break my momentum. And so I will continue keep working on it. And I've seen myself, the gains are incredible. Some people tell me, oh my God, how did you accomplish so much? I, say, well, I just, you know, <laughs> buckle down and I did this. Some of the time, my family tells me, well, what's going on? You're different. You've changed. And I'll explain that, you know, how that works. But it's really extraordinary how amazing this is, how this one simple concept and it's cheaper because you don't have to buy a lot of books. It's easier because all the information is right there. You just have to do the work. It doesn't, it takes less time because you're only reading one book and then you're implementing and the success you get, the results you get are mind blowing. And so what I want to do is I want to share all the 12 books that I read every year, most years, and I will share them with you. And now I don't have, I don't want to do it all in one video because they're going to be too many. I want to go through each book and tell you why I like it. And so I'm going to break this up into a series. And so we have this video, which is, or this is number one, right? And then I'll take the first four books that'll be part two and part three and part four and we'll break it down now the cool thing about this is that the books are interchangeable so one year i might not need that particular topic that that book talks about and so i can swap it out for another book another topic right that's the cool part it's up to you you can spend as much time on a topic or a little time on a topic and if you don't want it then you just take that book out and you put in something else in its place because of course there's always stuff we can work on there's always stuff we can get better at. And these books have so much content in them that you do them and you're probably not going to finish the whole book in a month, right? And so you might feel, okay, I want to move on. But then when you come back to it, you come back to it 12 months later and you are a completely, completely different person. You, now you have different problems. Now you have a different point of view. You have different understandings. And so when you read the book again, a lot of stuff you won't remember. Some of it you will, but a lot you won't, but you take deeper meaning out of it. You'll understand it from a different point of view. And so the problems that you have, you'll be like, oh yeah, hey, I can apply this even though you've already read the book. And if you've done it several years in a row, you have probably read the book several times. <laughs> Right. And so this is, like I said, it's a great process. I want to go through it with you. It's really not that hard, but I want to, in the following episode versions or series, I want to talk about the different books that I use and the different topics that are important to me. And they're really important to a lot of other people, you know, productivity, happiness, keeping the end in mind, which is like, you know, how do we approach life? How do we live life on a day to basis? We don't get caught up in the day to day things, you know, energy, nutrition, health. That one is a big one. I don't have any money books in here. 
easier, you know, like, oh, how to make more money or, or how to do marketing or those are all on my other list of uh, business type books, right? Financial, business, trading, all of that stuff would be on a separate list. Now, I used to do both at the same time. So I used to have two books a month, one for my personal, one for my business. But I realized that when you work on the personal, the business stuff and the trading stuff, all that gets better automatically. And I spend a lot of time on that stuff anyway. And so that stuff gets better anyway. So I really need to focus more time on myself because I mean, there's only one me, right? <laughs> I only get one me. I only get one life. So I want to make it as successful and as fulfilling as possible. And so I have books on there on happiness, uh, books on getting things done, but really finding out what things really need to be done. There's a book on spirituality that I've read or that I have included. I'm going to share that one with you. It's really good. It's not about any one particular religion, but it's just basically on spirituality. That one's a good one. So I'm going to give you the list. I'm going to go through each one. I'll tell you what it does, why it's important. And these are books that I recommend to everybody. Like as somebody who reads and has read thousands and thousands and thousands of books, literally, you know, I can tell you right off the bat if something is good or not. And there are many books that are really, really good, but they didn't make the cut, you know? So these are the ones that are hand chosen by me to tackle certain topics. Most of them are all, you know, mega, mega bestsellers. So you probably have most of these already. If you like to buy books, if not, you probably heard of most of them. Some of them you've probably never heard of if you're not really familiar with that topic, but all of them are exceptional. And so I can't wait to get into this and share them with you and hope you have a great year too, you know, and you can just get better, just get better and better and better. You just follow that process. Again, it's nothing. It's, it's easy. It's pick one topic that you want to work on per month. Find one book that teaches you how to work on that topic and then just do the work for a month. And it's only a month. It's not that long. You don't have to do it forever. And then at the end of the month, then you pick another book and you go in a different direction. You do something else. And if you want to do work more on it because you're excited, you stay on that book and you keep going and then you cycle back. So the next year you'll go back to the first book, you read it again, you'll be like, oh man, I can implement this, 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 this. And you learn more and you implement more. And sometimes you end up, oh man, I forgot that I used to do this and you stop implementing and then you forget. And then you read the book again. You're like, oh, I got to do that again. Yeah, that was really important. Okay. Okay. I'll do it again. So you start doing it again and you just, you just continue to stair step, get better and better, better, better. And it's not about, you know, making huge major goals or huge major improvements. You can make small improvements. And that's actually one of the books that we'll be talking about eye-opening really topics. So yeah, this is a uh, part one. Go ahead and queue up part two. Go ahead and go through that one and I'll go through the, the first four books and then we'll do the rest as we go along. But yeah, this is going to be really helpful. Thanks. All right. Bye.